Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and today we are looking at a very, very unique and very colorful park created on the PS4 by Tasak and it is called 80s Island. And the quick description just says a colorful 80s themed mini park featuring the floorless coaster Rad. So I'm really excited to take a look at this and I really appreciate this creator as this creator reached out to me on Twitter. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started looking at the park. All right, welcome to the entrance and welcome to 80s Island. Now this is only at 29, 28%. So there's a lot more that could be done with this park if um, this creator wanted to continue, but super, super colorful. like. This is really cool. And as I said, I, I really appreciate um, this creator reaching out to me and um, letting me know that he wanted me to spotlight his park. And I think this is really, really cool. <laughs> um, it's not often that you see creators go this colorful with their designs and stuff. And it's, it's just awesome. And so you can see it's using a lot of the panel pieces and then obviously some of a lot of the signs and i like here switching up the colors and how often you did that but you essentially kept every other one gray so you have one common color which is the gray and then it just kind of goes from there so that's pretty pretty cool to see um so now if we continue here i mean everything's <laughs> really bright colored so that's really cool and i have no idea where i'm going it can't be that small that big of a park so this way do we actually have a ride over here so we got some vending machines and everything's just covered up so well okay so this is like backstage where the staff is at so i love that you put some backstage in here oh you got a door um i hope i remember at the end so i'm gonna try to remember but there's something i want to show you that you can do with that door to kind of make it add just a little bit more realism to it uh, but i love what you're doing right there or add a little bit more kind of dimension to it not necessarily realism more so dimension but love that you were thinking about the backstage what you could do is actually place the panel wall piece and then take that door and place that door right here and the so the employees look like they're walking through the door um, or that actual door that comes with the game that's Got like the keypad to it and stuff, and this is awesome. That's really cool for the Scrambler. That's got to be the best Scrambler ride skin I've seen. So we got Epic Mice, okay, so is this a wild mouse coaster? So that looks like the exit. Ooh, I like how you've got split like this. I've been wanting to do something similar to this, where you kind of have both the entrance and exit kind of essentially kind of share the same path in if that makes sense now i would say just to place some railings there there we go looks good good job with the queue yeah i mean same thing here just place some railings on the side especially with this being a kind of kid focused park um, you don't want the kids to fall out and get hurt so let's go ahead and Oops, that's not meant to do. Well, we can look at it from above real quick. Really colorful, as always, with this park. Um, so it's called Epic Mice. So let's hop on that coaster right there. I think that's the one that's leaving the station. Nope, that's not it. There we go. So I'll talk to you after the coaster.
So there we go. That was the um, was it Epic Mouse? Yeah, Epic Mice. Um, I think right there, especially, probably spends too much. Now, I haven't made one of these coasters in the game, so I am by no means an expert on it. But I think this part right here was kind of the coolest, where it's almost like you're kind of gliding. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, I know spinning can be hard to control on some of these rides that spin, but you've really done a good job with this. Now, the two things I wanted to point out real quick, which I hope you don't mind me doing this, is one thing you can do here is if you split from building right you can separate a piece and then you can shift it up and then that would actually cover um that covers up the path issue there and then same thing you can split from building move this one up and it covers up those ugly curbs and so forth um if that's something you wanted to do now um, in terms of fencing since this is rounded, it'd be kind of tough to do custom fencing. So I'll just keep the fencing that you have. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out back here is I saw Matt Lown do this on PC in his Velocity Lake Park. And I thought it was really good. So if you just turn it this way and you can go right there. Then we're going to go up. And then we're going to take this and we're going to go sideways. And then we're going to go up just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to take it this way. So there, now you have a little bit more kind of dimension or depth to it, right? Because it looks like it's kind of got a barrier. So it's different than just being flat like this. So that's one way that you can add a little bit to that. And I already talked about the door there. But yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to point out and mention. Uh, is I think you're doing a really, really good job with this. So this is a tough, tough theme to kind of pull off. Um, and I think you've done a good job with it. And we're going to take a look at stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's look at night and see. Okay, it's not really lit up much. So this is definitely meant to be... Definitely meant to be a daytime park. I just didn't want to look at it in the daytime and then show this to you. And you say, oh, this should have been a nighttime park. So I wanted to make sure that I did that justice. And we'll take an overall look or overhead look at the end. Good sign. I love the glasses added to that. That's really cool. Oh, that's the cue. So just using a lot of the art shapes. Looks good. Like that kind of canopy there. Alright, so let's go ahead and pause this. And if we if let's just click on the track. Why is it not there? I hate when it does that. Sometimes it'll let me click on the track, sometimes it won't. But it looks like we got a floorless coaster, as he said. It's called Rad. It's the floorless werewolf. So let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster. But first we look at the stats and the results. While we're going up the lift hill, G forces look great. Eight inversions. All right, so I'll talk to you after the coaster. So that was rad, and I wasn't gonna make a joke, but no, I'm just, I'm just not going to, because it would be a terrible joke. Um, 
But no, that was a really cool coaster. I like it. I think that element right there is maybe the one element that's not realistic for B&M if we're going for realism aspect. But, I mean, then again, look at the style of this park. Like, I guess, I guess maybe like Toy Story Land or something. Like, there's probably some parks that are just all themed kind of in this very bright kind of look. Um, but, I mean, this is really, really cool. I think the coaster is good um you know the elements you tried to add to it were nice i like the station here it's unique um maybe a couple more beams need to be added somewhere for support but oh you got the cross beams and stuff i mean it's probably good i'm no engineer um but then i love this like if we look at night this was the one area that was really lit up it was the kick it or i guess that's not the scrambler like i said earlier or is that the scrambler I don't know. Now I, now I don't even know. Um, but the wild mouse looks lit up pretty good with the kind of floodlights and stuff. Oh, and those colorable panels. So those aren't just the ceiling pieces. Those are the panels. So that looks good. And yeah, I mean, this is a truly a mini park. But it's really cool because the flooring's kept the same the whole time. Which means this is a completely flat park. Which is totally fine, especially for something this size. And then you've got the entire thing is essentially made out of panel wall pieces and basic art shapes. So that is a really, really cool kind of concept and idea. Just something different. And I really like this. So make sure you go download this on the workshop as the link is in the description. So make sure to hit the like button or thumbs up. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I would love to know what you thought of this little park. So I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for watching.